I'm here in my mom's museum at the Malapai Ranch. Our family operates three cattle ranches in southeast Arizona. Two of them, the south boundary, is the U.S.-Mexican border. In 1896, my great-grandparents came to Arizona to homestead, and we've been here ever since. I was born and raised down here working as a cowboy on our, in our ranching operation. However, in May, when my mom passed away, I was thrown into the role of ranch manager and office manager. So now I cowboy for dad in the daytime and in the early mornings and late evenings, I do the bookkeeping and uh, try to keep everything on track as far as the financial end of our ranching operation. So in 1960, mom and dad bought what is now the Malapai Ranch. And in their young married life, they had us little kids and they kind of roughed it. They didn't have electricity and they didn't have phone and they didn't have television. And mama went and worked all day with dad and took us kids with them. So one day they had a cow in the corral and dad's motto was always to stand your ground. Don't let anything bluff you. So they're trying to load her in the trailer and she's running around the edge of the corral and mama's going to stand her ground and stop this cow. And the cow runs right over her. And mom got up and she's crying and she's mad. And dad said, what were you thinking? Why didn't you move? And she said, you said stand your ground. He said, Wendy, the cow was blind. One early morning in July, about 7.30 in the morning, I was driving to Douglas from the ranch on a road called Geronimo Trail Road, which is, which is one mile from the border. I came around a corner and there were 13 men across the road barricading the road. So I locked my doors, I had my gun on the seat beside me, I slowed down thinking they would move and I went to go around them on the right and they didn't move. They actually jumped onto my vehicle and pushed on the front of my vehicle and I stopped. I was at a dilemma right there. I didn't want to run over somebody. But by the time I stopped, everybody was climbing into my truck and standing on my running boards. And so I rolled down the window and there was a man standing on my running board and, and banging on my window. And in Spanish, I said, get off my truck. And he said, we don't speak Spanish. We speak English. And I I thought, oh my gosh, what, who are these guys? Well, in the meantime, there was a guy in the back with my jack handle, and he was acting like he was going to break into my truck. So I was trying to keep a level head and not shoot somebody, but I decided if I heard breaking glass that I would have to defend myself. By now, the guy that's looking in my window is telling me they're from India, they all spoke English, and they needed me to give them a ride to the police because they had been told that if they came across the border and got a ride, they could get political asylum. I told him to get everybody off the truck and sit down and wait, and I promised I would get them a ride because by now my adrenaline was running full steam and I was going to call Border Patrol, which I did, and within 15 minutes they came and gave those guys a ride. 